So on the Zoom app, I'm just going to join the meeting using that meeting ID. And I join this. So you're going to see another person pop in because I've now joined from my cell phone. So you hear a little ding. I don't use my audio because I don't want that feedback loop. My goal is they can only see what I write. So, um, so I don't add the audio. So Kristen's now joined from um, herself, which is great. You guys, can, you guys can try it out. So now I'm going to, um, to click on the share button on the, on the app. So there I click on the share button and I want to share my screen. So I'm going to tell it to start broadcasting the screen on my phone. Um, oops, sorry. So I'm going to tell. So it's now going to take what's on my phone, and um, so this is my my phone, and then I go to my 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 camera on my phone. So all I did was just hit my camera, and then I can go here and I can type one. Half, or I can write plus one third equals two, five, six. So that's very powerful. Or I could open up my book if you had something to show, um, you know, and I could, you know, focus on my book using my phone. So my phone is a very helpful tool, you know, that I can get very granular and zoom in on things um, to help to help with that. So just thinking aloud for for that. Um, Hmm. So that the phone is a very <laughs> oh, a nice background. <laughs> so, um, so, uh, so that's how I that's how I use my phone to help when I have to zoom in when I zoom in when I have to focus in on something that's not on my screen. I just log in from my phone, and that's um, that's how I do it. Hey, also too to get back to <laughs> to what Paula was was talking about earlier because she's right there. Um, <laughs> The recording, you know, and, and please know this, it, it's not to check up on anybody. It's not for anything like that. It literally is just so your students can go back later on and see it. It's like if, like Kristen down there, if she does a, a lecture in Panopto, then the students can log on and see that. So it's, I mean, that's all it's for. I, I was, a, I'm a big Panopto fan, but I like Zoom better. So, um, because they, that way they, like, I've had issues with, like, my students because I'd rather them attend from somewhere. I don't want them to miss class. So even when I wasn't teaching like this, I would always broadcast on Zoom because I want them to be somewhere attending. I want them to have some ability to work with me. So I've had students that are sick or especially the parent situation where all of a sudden the young toddler gets a fever and they can't go to daycare. I want my students to attend from anywhere. So I've been Zooming even before I taught like this. I would Zoom in my physical classes. Like I'd be teaching my physical course and I would have, I'd, have, I'd be Zooming from there for my students. So I'd rather them attend from somewhere. And I, I, and I never want to brag about myself, but in my last, um, my last five classes, I've only had three withdrawals. So in current class, I have one uh, student who is, uh, she's 75% deaf. So, um, so that's, uh, that's um, a little bit difficult for her. So she can go ahead at any time and it auto transcribes what we say. And for her, that's extremely helpful because she can read much better than she can hear. And I don't have to worry about the transcription. I'd say about the transcription is about 95% accurate. Sometimes I talk a little fast, so I just have to remember to talk a little slowly, but it transcribes everything in the, um, in the, in the recording itself. So for her, it's, it's a huge um, opportunity because she struggles from audio. She struggles on the audio side. She can't hear very well. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to record this for you so you can see. So I'm, I'm going to click on, so on the bottom, there's the share screen option. As faculty member, I can allow students to share their screen as well. So you guys could share. However, faculty members trump students. So there's something called Zoom bombing. I don't know if any of you've seen on social media where you know students or people they log you know they log in and then they have a, a picture and image of something they're not supposed to have and it's called Zoom bombing. Um, you can prevent that from happening. I know it's a new thing. Um, so you can prevent that from happening. But this is on the share screen option and. This